Hi, Uncivilized Vitality, and this is a quick video to explain about our uniforms that you see in the videos sometimes. We've got a lot of videos coming out this summer that are made by uh, other members besides just myself, and uh, you're gonna see their uniforms in some, and I uh, want people to uh, understand what that was. Sometimes we get confused with the, uh, the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or Scouts or whatever it's called now, or was called. And we do resemble that sort of, uh, we have the UV kids program uh, locally here, but uh, that hasn't really spread out yet. So we wear these uniforms because we get together in little communities. Uh, we meet once a month, we call these uh, chapters, right? So chapters, and each chapter gets to pick a, uh, a theme. Uh, for instance, we are the, uh, the Genesee County Turtles. Uh, we pick one of the, the um, animals that the uh, Ojibwem or Anishinaabe, uh, the first people in this area, uh, uh, held as sacred animals. We choose one of those as your mascot. That way to kind of limit it so we don't get something weird like uh, the Saginaw Palatipuses or something. So we, you pick an animal. We're the turtles. And uh, choose a couple colors. We are gray and green. And then you uh, put your uniform together. And we've made the uniforms uh, pretty easy to get. Just a Dickies work shirt. Um, and everybody wears that in their size and they get that. And then there's just a few things that go with it to set out uh, your chapter from another chapter. For instance, uh, Lynn the Wanderer down in Arizona. I'm not sure what uh, colors he's picked or animal for his chapter yet because that's relatively new. But if you're interested in setting up a chapter to get a group of like-minded people together to help you practice the health and happiness optimization program that is Uncivilized Vitality in uh, the book. And volume two is coming out at the end of this summer, 2024. This is volume one, The Five Vital Paths. Um, the way to be happier and healthier. If you want to get a group of like-minded people together to practice and meet once a month, that's great. Uh, there are certain bylaws and different things you'd have to have to be an organized chapter, and you can contact info at Uncivilized Vitality. That'll be in the description uh, to check more into that, getting started. Um, best way to get started is to join us on a couple of our campaigns or one or two and see what goes on. So here's a uniform. You pick a color. We chose gray and green. We're the turtles. And then you're going to have a couple different things that you notice uh, on the uniform. One, each uniform will have in your pocket a silk uh, neckerchief. And then sometimes if we're getting, we're trying to be kind of formal, we'll fold and wear this in the scouting style, the neckerchief. Uh, and we'll tie that. Uh, we use this for tons and tons of different things. Usually I keep mine folded up in my pocket. The other thing you'll keep in your right hand uh, chest pocket is a large blanket pin because that goes with the other part of your uniform, which is your multi-hood, right? So ours are in green, obviously, uh, although we do sell these on our Etsy channel, these large green multi-hoods. We have plenty of videos about those. This is part of your uniform because it is just with you all the time and we have so many different uses for it. Combine that with the blanket pin and um, your small neckerchief or uh, silk morigami in your colors and you can get a lot done gray and green all right now as far as the insignia goes what happens is when you start you will end up with your uh, flag and your uncivilized vitality uh, membership patch and then the rest of the patches and insignia on the uniform you'll earn occasionally you'll Occasionally you'll earn special patches like um, if you go on the rattlesnake hunt, you get a rattlesnake patch. And you can sew those on your uniform uh, at your discretion, typically in the back. But these are placed in specific areas. So the first one are the, uh, the shields, right? And you'll get this, this large shield the first time you spend, uh, the first campaign you go on with us, that's an overnight campaign, you get a, you get a shield. And then after that, every eight events that you um, go on, you get red, white, blue shields. So by the time you've collected all uh, four of your shields, you've been outside for at least um, minimum a month of overnights, uh, usually more because most of the events are two or three nights, two or more nights. And then uh, you'll have all these shields. We know you've been outside camping and making do in the wilderness at least uh, for a month. <clears throat> On the other side above your left pocket will be your rank insignia. You'll start out as a tenderfoot and then after a certain amount of time and a certain amount of shields and beads, you will work your way up to uh, Wayfinder rank. And then eventually after uh, about three years minimum or uh, enough of the shields and the beads, you'll work your way up to Elder. 
So those are just the ranks that you can hold that kind of give us a sense of accomplishment and where you're at in the community as far as uh, going through the UV method. Moving up in rank from uh, Tenderfoot to Elder is going to involve earning your shields and earning your spear points, uh, which are your movement, nourishment, restoration, hygiene, and community uh, spear points. And the way you earn those is outlined in your student handbook, which is... Uh, different than this book that's available on Amazon uh, or our Etsy. Volumes 1, 2, and 3 outline the program. The student handbook outlines how you can, uh, gives you a step-by-step -step guide to implementing the program in your life, joining the community or the, the chapter and earning your um, patches and your spear points. The other thing you'll earn are your ability beads. Okay, so these are 23 beads uh, held up on a little comboloy or a little bracelet. It's also an excellent fidget toy. And you earn each of these beads for doing different, different things. Um, kind of like merit badges. But we have a uh, fire bead. We have a movement bead. Combatives bead. Swimming bead. First aid bead. Uh, we have some keeper beads. We have the silent tree. We have the cold weather bead. The fasting bead. Those are all outlined in the handbook. So that, uh, your beads are part of your uniform. And then if I'm not wearing this around my wrist, I usually keep that tucked through the buttonhole of my left hand pocket so that it stays there. So you have your beads and your shields and your patches. And as you work your way through that, you're gonna work your way up to uh, through the ranks. And if you want to, after you've completed all that, you will be awarded the um, guide insignia. Okay, so I have that on my uniform and I have that on my uh, multi hood because I've completed all my shields, all my um, <clears throat> health and wellness, uh, health and happiness spear points, and uh, earned all three of my 23 ability beads. I have the experience. Reaching that status of guide by completing all this, it, it kind of lets, um, well, it lets you know you've made all those accomplishments. But from a more practical standpoint, we use a lot of volunteers for our, our charity events when we take different or specially uh, special needs or differently abled groups into the woods uh, that wouldn't normally go out. We need people that are experienced in the outdoors and can handle themselves and help with that. And those would be people that have been vetted through this process of working way up to guide rank. It's by no means necessary, but once you've completed all that, you will be awarded uh, the rank of guide. Uh, the only other thing we'd like to encourage you to include as part of your uniform, and normally it's one of the same colors, but I've had this hat for so long. Uh, I just sort of grandfathered myself in, is a, as a hat. You need a hat as part of your uniform. You could use your multi-hood or your silk morigami as a head covering, but it's always good to have a hat. I like the boonie hats because they protect my ears, and I can just roll these up, slide them in the, the billow pocket of my uh, cargo shorts or my pants uh, or just in my waistband. So uh, that's what you that's what you see when you see all these uniforms. That's what the little different insignias and patches and things mean. And it's a good way to kind of get um, track yourself as you make progress about implementing the uncivilized ways into your life to become healthier and happier. On a few of the other members, you might see a few different insignia. And we have uh, for leadership positions within the chapter, because chapters take work to organize and uh, to help provide that benefit to others and, you know, organize the meetings and the agenda and keep everything uh, on task. To organize a local chapter, you'll pick uh, a chief and they'll get that above their rank. So you'll pick a chief and then you'll have two uh, junior officers that help organize. That's going to be your scribe, uh, sort of like the secretary and your sentry, sort of like the, uh, the treasurer or the man-at-arms uh, positions. And those three members would help you organize and uh, keep track of the agendas and the meeting and who earned which beads and which patches and which spear points and what events are coming up and, and all of that, plus uh, organizing the crafts and things. <laughs> a lot of work being the, the scribe and the sentry, if not the chief. If you're interested in starting a small chapter, you'll need three people, although you know two would work to start. Somebody could play the, the scribe and sentry role, uh, dual role. But if you're interested, reach out to uh, info <clears throat> at Uncivilized Vitality. Dot com 
and we will get you some information about attending some of our events or looking into maybe forming your own local chapter so you can read through the book and get a like-minded community of people to help you implement those um, health and happiness methods to make yourself um, feel better, be a better person, be a uh, better contributing member to society, and uh, all of that. So there's our uniform. Hopefully that was a quick video, and then we will uh, be putting up plenty of videos this summer with other members starting to contribute to the channel, so I'm excited about that. Uh, that's enough of my rambling, and uh, I think that's it. So like button, hit turn on the notification buttons if you like the video, if this was helpful, if you want to learn more about our uh, chapters, the uniforms, or the handbooks, and how we do those things, and uh, leave that in the comments below, and uh, I think that's it.